Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a quick tutorial, a uh, very simple one, and this one basically just shows how to reduce body wobble, at least for this particular circumstance. So, uh, as you can see here, I actually just recently bought four of these Bowser GLA hoppers. And what I realized with them is that they have way too much body wobble. Um, this is one that I didn't modify. This is what I this is what I did afterwards. But anyway, so let me show you this. Uh, let me just show you this real quick. You can see how there's way too much body wobble. Whereas after I modify it, really simple modification, it barely shakes. You know, when it does shake, the wheels come off the track. Whereas this one, the wheels are still on the track, and it will just shake like that, shake like crazy. And so basically, the fundamental issue with that is that basically that the wheels have you know obviously too much. Pivoting, I guess you could say, um, I don't know what you call it, twisting uh, motion. And uh, you can't just solve it, you cannot just solve it by uh, screwing down the screws because this little bit, this little bit out here, uh, which obviously does two things. For one, it makes it so the wheel, the, the truck doesn't, you know, go, um, it doesn't go all over the place. Uh, so it makes sure that it pivots without, you know, like moving. Uh, but the second thing it does is it makes sure, it makes sure that the screw, can't push down onto the tr truck too tightly. And what the problem is that is that um, this part sticks out a little bit higher than the bottom of the truck. And what that means is no matter how tight you t tighten the screw down, it will not tighten the truck down. It'll only just push against this thing, this lip, instead of actually pushing down the truck. And so that that makes so the truck, uh, the, no matter how tight you t t uh, tighten the screw, the truck will always be very loose. And so basically the, the solution to that is very simple. All you do is you take a file, or a sandpaper, and you just simply file that bit down. Uh, you just file that bit down, and then uh, that allows the truck, that allows the screw to be tightened down uh, further on the truck, and so prevents the truck from uh, twisting left and right too much. Now, I would recommend you only do it to one of the two trucks. You don't need to do to do. Uh, you don't need to do it to both, um, and that is because you want three-point suspension. Which the basic set of that is basically you want one truck to be really free and pivoty, and the other one you want to be nice and tight, and so you know like. Tighten the motion of both, you know, up and down, it rigid. So you want to tighten, you know, rigid in this sense and also this sense. Um, if you have one t truck that's a little bit more rigid and the other one's really loose, it allows for three-point suspension and it, it prevents derailing. Um, but I digress. Basically, you only need to do it to one truck. You can do it to both, I guess, but you only have to do it to one. And you can see it's a big, pretty big improvement with, you know, this one having no body wobble and this one having a lot. And that's pretty much it. So uh, there's other ways to obviously fix this, and there's other. If it's another problem, then it could be another solution. But this is the solution, generally speaking, for most manufactured cars, especially Bowser cars, I guess in this case, uh, that have really poor body wobble issues.